While dollies are great for creating smooth horizontal motion, sweeping vertical moves require either a jib arm or crane. At its heart, a jib arm is a simple lever with the camera on one end and a counterweight on the other. But most jib arms add to that more sophisticated mechanisms to keep the camera level throughout the shot. This can be done mechanically and controlled by an operator or by electric servo motors. On larger jib arms, the camera is mounted via a remote head or hothead with remote control of zoom and focus. Like many things in the camera world, operating a jib is something of an art form. So don't rent a jib arm for the first time and expect to nail your shot before lunch. In addition to all of these, there are a variety of weird and wonderful crossover products. A great example of this is a float cam slider, which can act as a longer traditional horizontal slider track, a vertical or angled slider, and, with an additional attachment, a jib arm. With the addition of a motorized gear system, it can even be converted into a motion control rig with repeatable automated camera moves. As useful as tripods, monopods, dollies, jibs, and cranes are for creating smooth, elegant camera motion, they all suffer from one major drawback, setup time. In situations of unpredictable and unrepeatable actions, by the time even the simplest tripod is positioned and leveled, it may be too late. This has necessitated a whole range of handheld camera support devices, which we'll loosely characterize as handheld. The simplest of these is the shoulder mount. These are padded mounts fixed to the bottom of production cameras. For smaller, lighter cameras, expanded weighted rigs can be used to adapt them. Shoulder mounts are convenient for fast setup and an experienced operator can keep movement of the frame slight and relatively smooth. Disadvantages are the fatigue of the operator, especially when working with heavier rigs, and limited range of motion. Walking with a shoulder mounted rig is difficult and will produce a loping movement to the frame due to the natural motion of walking under a load. To help compensate for shakiness in both shoulder mount and handheld camera work, you can take advantage of image stabilization technology. Image stabilization can occur in the lens or in the camera, rapidly rotating either the lens or the image sensor to compensate for small camera movements. Now, the quality and effectiveness vary with lens image stabilizers being the most reliable. Be aware that they'll produce significant battery drain and extended use can produce overheating in models originally designed for still camera work. One quick note, avoid digital image stabilization whenever possible. Digital stabilization works by cropping and scaling the original sensor image. This can be done in a video editing workstation in post so there's no reason to bake such resolution-reducing effects into your source footage of the camera. More sophisticated stabilizer systems come in the form of underslung heads. These systems provide two or three axes of stabilizing motion, and the more advanced ones include servos and gyros to automatically shift the rig's position to steady the camera. While dollies and dolly track were for years the primary vehicle for smooth camera movements, the advent of the Steadicam has radically changed that. Now, while a handheld, or at least body-held device, the Steadicam allows smooth movements rivaling tracked dolly shots. The system uses an isoelastic arm connected to a support vest. A gimbal connects this arm to the main Steadicam armature, which holds the camera at one end and a counterweight at the other, typically consisting of a battery and a preview monitor. Many poor man Steadicams have come on the market, but for the most part, they are poor replacements for the capabilities of a full Steadicam rig. Most of these are weights swinging by a simple joint and lack the stabilization provided by a true Steadicam rig. The Steadicam is another example of camera support gear that takes a great deal of skill to operate well. Rounding out the list of handheld or perhaps body mounts is the POV style of camera mount. POV mounts are used to capture the action from the specific vantage point of an element in the scene. This could be the front of a surfer's board, the helmet of a cyclist, or even the body of an electric guitarist Stratocaster. Mostly, 
These supports are designed for small, lightweight cameras like the GoPro, and the design emphasis is on fixing the camera firmly to the object in question. A few of the more advanced supports will include some kind of mechanical stabilization. Since vehicles, and more specifically cars, are a large part of modern life, it's no surprise that vehicle and car mount rigs abound. We'll focus here on two specific types of rigs, car mounts and aerial mounts. Car mounts have four typical uses, to capture scenery, to capture the POV of a passenger in the car, to capture the interaction of passengers within the car, and to film the activity of another car driving alongside, in front of, or behind the camera car. One of the most common ways to mount the cameras is with triangulated suction cups, as is the case for the popular Teeny Weeny system. The industry-grade suction cups are vacuum compressed via a finger pump or lever and combined with the strength of the triangular support can safely hold several pounds of camera gear. These systems are also versatile as they can be side mounted, mounted to the roof, front or rear of the car. Car mounts are really capable of deployment on any vehicle with smooth surfaces to support the suction cups. For larger camera systems, rigs can be constructed from speed rail and bolted to the car's main chassis for security. In the past, creating aerial establishing shots required a chartered helicopter or plane and was hence an expensive proposition for any project with a modest budget. Fortunately for the filmmaker, but probably unfortunately for the rest of the world trying to enjoy their privacy, modern remote-controlled drones are an affordable alternative. Drones are relatively easy to operate, provide smooth motion, and with the availability of high-quality compact cameras can capture breathtaking aerials.